Hello and welcome! Today I show you how to calculate the kernel of a given matrix. And this will be an easy example of a 3 times 4 matrix. Well, this is the matrix we will consider here. And we will consider it over the real numbers. And as you can see, it has 3 rows. So 3 times 4 and 4 is the number of the columns here. However, first of all, you have to know what the kernel is. So the kernel of a matrix A is by definition the set of all vectors that are sent to zero by this matrix. So that means that we have here all vectors x and they come from R4. Since we have four columns here, so we need a vector with four rows and then we can give ax the meaning. So ax. So this will be a vector in R3 and this goes to the zero vector in R3. So ax equals to zero. Well, this subspace of R4 is exactly the kernel of A. And as you can see, this is just a system of linear equations. So we can calculate the kernel by solving the system of linear equations given by the matrix and the right hand side zero. Therefore, this means that we can do row operations on the system of linear equations here and they don't change the system, so the solution set. And we want the solution set here for the kernel. So we can just do row operations on this matrix inside the kernel here and we don't change the kernel. So this is what we do now. We want to change the second and the third row in such a way that we have uh, create zeros here in the first column. So meaning we have to add on the second row a multiplier of the first row and just three. So minus three times the first row gives us what we want here. So zero here. There we have minus two and minus two and one. Then we do the same for the third row. So third row minus four times the first row. And then we have the zero as wanted and minus eight. So minus four minus four and minus eight as well and plus four here. Okay, now we have the zeros in the first column and we want to do the same in the second column as well. So we want to create a zero here. As you can see, this is very easy now. So the new third row here gets just four times the new second row here and just minus again. And then we get zero, zero, zero and zero. So very boring here, but of course this was obvious since just the third row here is just a multiple of the second row. And now we are finished since we arrived at the so-called row echelon form here. Or in other words, just a triangle a form here, since all elements below this diagonal here are zero. This is what we want, then the system is solved. Now we are call these variables here, given by these non-zero elements in each column, the bound variables, and the other ones here, so the two here, are the free variables. And now we can just write it down. The second row here is, a, is an equation, so please keep in mind that we have just the equation with right hand side zero. That means that we have here for the second row, we have minus two times x2 minus two times x3 plus x4 is equal to zero. 
So now we already set here the three variables. So we can just choose here another letter, maybe an alpha and here a beta. And then we can just write the bound variable uh, in, in terms of the three variables. So here x2, so this implies x2 is equal to minus alpha, just divide by two, plus one half beta. And the equation in the first row gives us x1 plus x2 plus two times x3 plus x4 equals to zero. So, but we already know that we can write, maybe I put this here in orange, we can write x2 as minus alpha plus one half beta. We know that this here is just two times alpha and this is just beta. So we can uh, write x1 also in terms of alpha and beta and this is just minus alpha so 2 alpha minus 1 and minus 3 half beta. Of course this is the solution set of our systems of linear equations given by ax equals to 0. So now we can just write a solution set. That is the kernel. So set brackets here. And then we have the vector. So it's minus alpha minus 3 half beta. Comes from the x1 component. And then we have the x2 component. It's minus alpha plus 1 half beta. And x3 and x4 where the three variables, so just alpha and beta here. And most importantly, don't forget to write alpha, beta come coming from R. So R elements in R, and this is the whole solution set. So arbitrary vector given in this form, where alpha and beta coming from R. So, uh, of course we can um, split this up in two vectors. So we use the alpha coefficient, then we have the vector minus 1, minus 1, 1 and 0, plus beta in the vector with coefficients in front of beta, so minus 3 half, plus 1 half, 0 and 1. And the same again, we have to mention alpha and beta coming from the real numbers. So. Obviously, this is the same set, so we just write, uh, wrote the vector in another way. And this is the whole kernel. And by our, our calculation, we know that these two vectors here are linearly independent and therefore build a basis of the kernel, of this kernel of A. That means for this example, the kernel is a two-dimensional subset of R4. And this is all for today, so thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.